what I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk to you about an event that has an 87% follow-through rate. Now, I want you to understand how amazing that is. 87% of the time, this will follow through as planned. This number is so extraordinarily high because what it really means is that if you do it 10 times, it will be right close to nine times out of every 10, 8.7 times. That's crazy. Now, just to put that in perspective, there are, there are trading algorithms that make millions of dollars with a 37% accuracy rate. Millions of dollars. You don't need to have something as high as 87% to make a fortune in the markets. If you are going to make a fortune with something with 37%, you better make sure that the 37% are comfortably larger than the uh, 63% that don't work, right? So that it dwarfs the 63%. The gains from the 37% dwarf the losses of the 63%. And that's a workable system. Okay? There are many market operators that have that scenario where they're not as accurate, but when they do hit, they hit big, and they're profitable that way. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that has an 87% follow-through rate. And this is something that I think that you all should become an expert in identifying. Now, it will touch on some things that we've covered on a variety of occasions. So there is going to be some repetitive talk here today. But as you all know, I'm very fond of repetition. It has a value. It helps to, to solidify your knowledge and to lock it in. The other thing about repetition is that each time you repeat something, you are actually different. And so because you are different, the thing that you are repeating hits you differently. Ever watch a movie for the second time and see a lot more? Why? Because you are not the same person that watched it the first time. You have gained experience, and that experience changes you, and that changed you is able to see things that you were not able to see the first time. Same thing here. Repetition has this value. We cover a concept one time, you take that knowledge um, that you received, you go into the market, you gain experience with it, come back. If you experience that knowledge again, you will experience it from a higher state. All right, so what I want to talk to you about is this 87% follow-through event. It's called the Clearing Elephant Plus event. Clearing Elephant Plus event. And this is something that I want to encourage that you become an expert in, a master in, not only identifying but exploiting it. And yes, this is one of those events where you can make this the core of how you make money in the markets. It's that reliable and it happens that frequently. It happens frequently enough to make this at the core, the core way you make money in the markets from this event. So the first thing I need to do is to break down this clearing elephant bar plus event in pieces. The first piece the, is the elephant. So we all should know what an elephant bar is. You have a card that is specifically an el called an elephant bar card. It is a bar like that. It can have a little tail at the top, but nothing really sizable. Small wicks on either side are fine. Sometimes you don't. And it can be a green or a red one. It doesn't matter. All right? Now, this elephant is meaningful because it is longer and taller than most of the bars that have occurred before it. 
most of the bars to the left of this bar is smaller than this bar. That's what creates an elephant. It's almost as if you were to look into a city, a city skyline and see one building taller than most of the other buildings surrounding it. The Empire State Building in Manhattan, like that. That's what an elephant is. An elephant bar stands taller, bigger, greener or redder than most of the other bars surrounding it, which obviously is to the left of it. Okay? I am sort of tired of even some of my traders calling any solid green bar an elephant bar. You lose the power inherent in what the elephant bar means when you just call any solid green bar an elephant bar. That is not an elephant bar. It's not big enough. All right? It needs to be decisively big. It needs to be unquestionably taller, beyond the norm a bit, beyond the norm a bit, all right? And so that's the first component, understanding what an elephant bar is. It's a tall skyscraper that is taller than most of the bars, most of the buildings around it. It's a tall bar. It is mostly made up of color, green or red, nearly completely solid, right? And if you look to the left, it's taller and has more color in it than most of the bars to the left of it in recent history, all right? Now, that's an elephant bar. Now, there's something else we have to cover with the elephant bar. It's called the plus. See, there's there are elephant bars, and then there are elephant plus bars. This, if you had something like this, Solid elephant bar. Beautiful. All right. Again, you can have a you can have a little wick here, even on the top there. But it's not, we don't want something like that. That's a little different, right? Okay. Now, this elephant bar, if if it were to be followed by this, that would be nice. This second bar is confirming that the elephant bar to the left of it is true, is real. It's producing follow-through. But what if this little piece here happened on top of the elephant bar, like here, and not the next bar? You see, this is the plus part of a single elephant bar. It's almost like what should be happening next is happening now. It's happening early. The plus part is happening on top of my elephant. It's not happening to the right of my elephant. It's happening on top of my elephant. And so this is what makes the elephant plus bar. You're getting the plus part early. You're getting the follow through part on an elephant early. Now, admittedly, this is somewhat subjective because some people will say, Oliver, I think that's an elephant bar plus and others won't. No, I think it's a regular elephant. So it's somewhat subjective. And I want to help clarify this, help you be able to more accurate. I, I want to help you take some of the subjectivity out of the identification process with elephant bar plus versus just a regular elephant bar. And the way I'm going to do that is with this simple guide. You have to ask yourself, if I remove 20% of this green bar, if I were to erase the top 20%, so if I were to divide the bar into five pieces and erase the top piece, would it still qualify? as a nice, solid 
elephant? And if the answer is yes, you've got an elephant plus. Because what I call an elephant plus is 20% beyond an elephant. You see, so let me give you an example. Let's say I've got a bar like this. You say, yeah, that's an elephant bar. It's nice. It's solid green. And this bar is taller than most of the bars that I look to in recent history to the left. So, yeah, this is an elephant. All right. But I'm not so sure it's an elephant if I take this part off. Now we're getting kind of close to it's a regular green bar. It's a green bar, but I'm not so sure it's an elephant. But if I erase this part, let's do it. It's clear I still unmistakably have an elephant. Do you see the difference there, guys? Does that make sense? The 20% rule, there's that 80-20%, there's that 80-20 rule, Anwar, again, there you go. I'm using it again. You see that? You see how I slipped the 80-20 rule in there? All right. Okay. So, yeah, if I take 20% away, is it still an elephant? And if it is, boom, I've got plus. I've got Elephant bar plus. I've got e, EB plus. Sounds like a freaking drink, doesn't it? Uh, pass me an elephant bar. Pass me an elephant plus, please. All right. So that's where plus comes from. Now, I want you to understand that when you're identifying this, I want you to imagine that you're watching a bar form in your stock. This is your stock. Do you understand? You are watching a bar start like this. Boom. That's the first tick of the bar. Then you're watching it go like this. Up. Now let's say it's a two-minute bar. And you're like, okay, we've got a little bit of green. It's growing. But then it grows more. Okay? Now it's like 25 seconds into the bar. It grows more. Now you're like 45 seconds into the bar. Boom, you grow more. Now it's like a one minute, 10 seconds into the bar. And you're like, that's an elephant. One minute and 10 seconds of the bar, you realize I've got an elephant. If it stays here and doesn't dramatically drop back for the, rest of the 50 seconds left in the two minutes, this is going to end an elephant bar. Don't forget, now that you've identified at this point that it's an elephant, anything beyond that point is plus territory. If it continues to grow, you've got elephant bar plus. And when you have elephant bar plus, you don't have to wait anymore. Boom! You don't have to wait for the next bar. You see, if you had just elephant, you would be waiting to have the next bar confirm that the elephant bar is real because elephants have to produce follow through. The next bar would be your proof that the elephant bar is real and you would buy the next bar. You would buy the proof bar. You see, you would be buying the proof bar if it was just an elephant bar. This is the proof bar. But you're getting the proof bar early on top of the elephant. So you don't have to wait. The proof is now. Boom! Tell me you understand this. You got it? The plus is the proof. No waiting. All right. Now, 
So an elephant bar has by itself about a 65% follow-through rate. That's high. Just the elephant bar, write this down, it has a 65% follow-through rate. Make a note of this. This means that 65, 6.5 times out of every 10, the elephant bar produces another green bar after it. Do you know how valuable that can be for you? You can just make a numbers game. If you were to buy every elephant bar right at the last second of the bar, so it's a two-minute bar, and right in the last second, few seconds of the two-minute period, one minute, 58 seconds, boom, I just buy. You're going to get more money from that buy point almost seven times out of every 10, 6.5 times out of every 10. You can make a living just off that number. If, as long you got to control the losses. But if you control the losses, you'll get follow through more than you won't get follow through. And that right there is enough to make a freaking fortune. If you control the losses, of course. That's amazing. The Elephant Plus bumps that. The Elephant Plus moves it to 73%. Oh, my God. 73. Seven, a little bit more than seven times out of every 10 now. Wow. 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 That's how valuable they are. Let me quickly explain to you why this is the case. The reason why elephants and elephant bar pluses in particular have such high follow-through rates is because of what it, it represents. You see, you and I can't make an elephant bar in Microsoft. An elephant bar in Microsoft takes a lot of money to produce. It's money beyond even what all of us could do put together at the same time. It takes multiple big money players acting in the same direction at the same time in the same stock. That's power. And it's power. This is not your neighbor's activity. This is not your uncle or your aunt buying. Do you understand? This is power. These power players, they wish they could hide from us. They wish they could not show their footprints. These elephants wish they could walk in the mud, the market, and leave nothing behind. No evidence that they are stepping in or stepping out. But they can't. Think of an elephant trying to tiptoe past you. Just conjure that image and it makes you chuckle. You're like, elephant, what are you doing? I'm trying to tiptoe in a way where I don't leave a footprint. That's ridiculous. You're not a mouse. So these are the footprints that institutions leave behind in your stock. They're going in when it's green and coming out when it's red. All right? This is why it has follow through because Elephants have four feet, not one. So when you catch an elephant, that's the an elephant plus. That's the first one in a while. You're catching the first foot of an elephant, and that elephant, the elephant represents the group of institutions or the single institution that's a big player. That elephant has just begun 
his four foot entry into the market or his four foot exit out of the market. You've caught the first foot in or out. That is why there's follow through because you're catching the first foot in and there's other foot, there's other feet that are going to drop. All right. This is true, Anwar, but we're going to leave that for the moment. All right. I'm going to leave that for the moment. 